Hi, it's Brian Ireson from the Computer Workshop. Uh, today we're going to look at Word again. Um, we're going to think about using this as a tool to assemble several documents into a larger document. In other words, we're going to create a book. Now, when we are thinking about working on a book in a program like Word, we really don't want to create a single file that will contain all the chapters and everything at one time. We really want to combine several smaller files so you can think about combining multiple chapters as individual files into a larger file called a book. Um, so how do we go about this? Well for one thing all of our documents have been created each chapter and they are all stylized that way we can take advantage of the references tab and use the generate or create I should say create a table of contents button on that references tab now I'm gonna start with a new blank document here although I did add in a cover page that just has the title of the page and author and other information and that's coming straight off of the documents um, properties and that of course will generate a single second page. Now to make life easy I am going to simply view this instead of a page movement being set to vertical I'm going to switch this to side to side so you can see we have that nice sort of little setup. Remember that the left edge of the first page is where the spine of your book will be so it may look like this is a spread but this will actually open on the left side of this page. Now we want to start adding in the other documents and we'll do that from the outline view. So we're going to switch from the print layout view here in the views group on the view tab in the ribbon to the outline view. Now here you can see the outlines of or the use of all of your styles that generate an outline. In this case we don't have anything because this file is really just a placeholder until we get all of our content together so that we can generate the table of contents. So we're gonna jump right over to this master document set of controls and we're gonna click on the show document button. Clicking on this will allow you to create new things or in this case we're going to insert since all of our chapters have already been completed. So we'll click insert. We'll navigate to the folder that contains our chapters and I'm going to see I have chapter one with TOC so I've actually put a table of contents at the beginning of each of these just for practice and I'm going to click open and I'm going to be warned about the potential of conflicting styles. So do I want to rename the style in the sub document? Sure. I'm going to say yes to all, rename all the styles. That way we're going to keep things consistent. So there's the first document and we'll continue to add in the next one by again clicking insert. We'll grab our chapter two. Yes to all. We'll insert our next one, chapter three. We're going to replace all or rename all those styles. And there we go. Now, you'll notice the collapse sub documents, which when clicked will show you the files that are being combined to create that larger document. When we click expand, we will now see all of the contents held in each of those. You can see styles, heading one, heading two. You can actually say, well, you know what? I don't need to see all of this. I'm gonna look at this outlining tools, show levels, and I'm just gonna to wanna to see my heading one, heading two, which translates to level one and level two. So you can see we have all of our chapters separated out, and these are actually live connections to the original document. So if we were to show everything again, so show all levels, might take a moment, there it goes. 
and come through here and make edits, that would impact the original file. If the original file were edited, we would be able to update those edits also in our book file. Now if I am done and I don't want anybody to be able to edit the original document and have it impact this, what I'm going to do is actually unlink all these subordinate files from the master document. Now in this case I'm not going to worry about that. I do want to keep everything expanded and I'm going to now close out of my outlining view. And I'm doing this by clicking the close outline button right there at the end of the outline tab. And you can see we now have all of our books. It's coming in really nicely all together. I have all my chapters. You can see I put a cover page for each chapter and I can actually have Word as a really useful tool for creating and editing and managing larger documents like books or reports. So once again, uh, thank you for your time. I hope that you found something useful and interesting in this tutorial. If you did, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and see what comes up next week because we are always putting out a new video every week so you never know what you will find when you come back. So until then, take care for now.